Hey folks, Joe Welch is here, and we are back with another Service Tech Tip video. By now you're seeing warmer days, which means one thing, RV season is here, and it's time to dewinterize our Airstreams. So stick with me until the end, and in a couple of minutes we'll have your RV ready for its next adventure. Are you ready? Let's go. Today we're going to be dewinterizing this wonderful 2023 Bambi 19. And remember, if you'd like to see a different unit dewinterized, be sure to leave it in the comments below and we'll try to add it to our lineup. Step one, we're going to need some water. So whether that's city water directly to the unit, turned on and pressurized, or filling our fresh tank and running our pump to dewinterize, we're going to need that water and we're going to need that pressurized. So we're going to start in the rear bath of our Bambi here, and the first thing I'm going to do is grab our shower head, turn our shower all the way on so the diverter can mix in the rear, and we're going to get that antifreeze to come out, and I want to run this until she turns perfectly clear. Next we're going to go ahead and do our commode here. We want to flush this as well until the rear comes out nice and clear like so. Now that we've made it out of the spacious bath, we can go ahead to our sink here, right to the left of the bed. We're gonna start on our hot side. And now we're gonna go ahead and move to the cold. We're gonna run that until it's clear as well. Now we can move to our next sink. So our last sink inside here in the kitchen, we're gonna go ahead and do our cold side first. Running that pink until it turns clear. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on our hot side. So we want to run that antifreeze until the fresh water comes out as well. And now we can take a trip outside. So now on the outside of our Airstream, we're going to go ahead and open up our outdoor shower here. And now I want to run all this pink antifreeze out of our outdoor shower as well. So I'm just going to start on either side here, hot first. I'm going to let all that antifreeze out, that turn to clear, and then I want to go ahead and do my cold side. So this is going to turn pink, and then once that pink runs out, we'll have some clear fresh water again, and we know we're done with our outdoor shower. There are a couple things that we could do that just goes a, a step further in dewinterizing our Airstream. One of those, if you can join me down here is just checking on our water heater. This is a Gerard tankless water heater, and I just wanna make sure that there's no antifreeze trapped in the lines in the back of the unit, and I can do that by opening my pressure release valve right here. So I just wanna give this little lever a pull down, and I just wanna make sure that clear water comes out of the tank so that we know that there's no antifreeze trapped in there. So the very last thing, if we're being a stickler, is the low point drains on our unit. If we wanna make sure there's no antifreeze in there, on this 19, we're gonna to have to go underneath our master bed here. And we actually have a little access panel at the back of our water heater with two T valves to the right there. And those guys are our low point drains. So we would just open up the cold, facing it straight real quick, letting some water run out, then shutting it. Then we do the same at the hot. And that would be just to get any antifreeze trapped in these two lines here out of the way. And that's it, you've done it. You successfully dewinterized your Airstream travel trailer and now you're ready to hit the road. Remember, if you have any doubts or any issues, don't hesitate to reach out to our service department and one of our technicians will be happy to help you and get you troubleshooted or get you in for a quick service appointment. Before we end this video, we would really appreciate everyone smashing that like button and subscribing for more RV content if they haven't yet. And shoot over for, to our TikTok at Colonial Airstream and RV and give that a follow and help us grow that channel if you like. And if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. My name is Joe Welches and I look forward to seeing you all again in another Colonial Service Tech Tip video.